It's a new era in Denver, the Russell Wilson era. Kind of weird, though, because he did absolutely destroy, crush, dismantle, and stomp on your hearts during Super Bowl Forty Eight. But then again, that was nearly a decade ago, so we move. The Broncos' defense has been solid, and they recently just added a former 49er, Kawan Williams, to their secondary depth, as well as penalty machine Randy Gregory. The Broncos have been a team where a lot of people have said that they're just a QB away from contending. And honestly, if you look at all areas of this team, I believe that statement. They have an extremely underrated receiving core with Jerry Judy, Cortland Sutton, and Tim Patrick. However, unfortunately, Tim Patrick won't be playing this year due to an ACL tear. They also have a good rotation going at running back with Melvin Gordon, who's always been solid, and Javante Williams, who I am predicting is going to have a breakout season. I'm predicting that Russ is going to give Jerry Judy a breakout year and guide this team in the right direction. With that being said, let's go game by game. Week one, and it starts off interesting as Russell Wilson returns to Seattle to play against his former team that he played with for a decade. It's a primetime game, and I will definitely be watching this game. However, it will not be close at all. Seattle is really going to miss Russ here, and Russ will get his first win as a Bronco. Week 2 versus the Texans, Denver's home opening game, Russell's first home game in Denver, and they will indeed cakewalk this horrible Texas franchise. Week 3 at home again, but this time against the 49ers. I'm a 49ers fan, and it pains me to say it, but Russell Wilson absolutely owns us. I mean, he has a 17-4 and record against us, so he will manage to get this win here at home. Week 4 against division rivals, the Raiders. This will be a very good game and realistically probably Russell's first big test. It's in Las Vegas and Derek Carr will be slinging. This will be Russell's first loss and a demo of what's to come in this AFC West division. Week 5, they play the Colts at home. The Colts are a very good football team. However, it is a primetime game and Russell Wilson is a dog when the day is dark. So another Broncos win here. Week 6 against another division rival, the Chargers. This game could go either way. However, it is indeed another primetime game. I have Russ winning on primetime against Seattle. I have Russ winning on primetime against the Colts. Do I think he's going to win three primetime games in a row? No. The Chargers are more than capable of getting this win, and they are indeed at home, so that means it's another divisional loss for Denver. Ouch! Week 7 versus the Jets. Week 8 versus the Jags. Week 9, bye week. At the bye week, I have Denver sitting at a comfortable 6-2. and two. However, two divisional losses do hurt. Week 10, they play the Titans away from home. Now, Tennessee does have a very good rush defense. And at the end of the day, they were the number one seed in the AFC last year. It may be a surprise, so I'm going to give the Titans the win here and a loss for Denver. Ouch! Week 11 at home against the Raiders. The Raiders got the best of the Broncos in week four. However, I'm predicting that the Broncos and Raiders are going to split this year. Thus for giving Denver a win here. Week 12 at Carolina to play the Panthers. The Broncos should win this game. Week 13 in Baltimore to play Lamar and the Ravens. This will be a very, very fun game to watch and could go either way. However, it's a veteran QB versus a young QB. And the Vets, most often than not, always get the best of the young ones. So, I have Denver beating Baltimore. Week 14 against the Chiefs on primetime at home as well. Another primetime game, Mahomes versus Russell Wilson. However, I have Mahomes getting the win here. This will be a welcome to my division statement game for Mahomes late in the season. And he will teach Russell that he's not just a young QB. He is that guy. Week 15 versus the Cardinals. The Cardinals towards the end of the season are a hot mess and Denver should get this win here. Week 16 versus the Rams in LA. Russell Wilson holds a negative record against the Rams at 8-12. The only negative record he has in the NFC West division. I have Denver beating Seattle, beating San Fran, beating Arizona. There's no chance that Denver sweeps the whole NFC West. So Denver You will lose this game. LA will be too hot for you to handle. Week 17 versus the Chiefs, this time at Arrowhead. I have the Chiefs beating the Broncos on prime time at week 14. However, I have them splitting this year. Somehow, some way, the Broncos will be able to get this win here at Arrowhead. 
And I think that this is going to stump the Chiefs, just like how the Bengals stumped them last year late in the season. It's a division rival game at the end of the day, so anything could happen. Week 18, final game of the season at home against the Chargers. Last year, the Chargers suffered a heartbreak divisional loss to the Raiders, and I bet you that they will not let that happen again. Therefore, Justin Herbert will close out this game in style, ending Russell Wilson and the Broncos season with a loss. Ouch! That means I have officially the Broncos going 11-6, and six, a good season. However, with a tough AFC division, will that be enough? To solidify a playoff spot will that be enough to return denver to the playoffs i hope so we shall see thanks for watching stay tuned for next video